Hi, welcome to Programming with Mesh. Prepare in advance for your interview with the best possible React Native interview questions and answers. In this part, we will review the best questions at the mid-level. How are props and state different? Props are immutable and are set by the parent and they are fixed throughout the lifetime of a component. State is mutable. This means that a state can be updated in the future while props can't. Props used for passing data and settings through the component tree. State used for storing simple view state like whether or not drop down options are visible. Props are passed from parent to child. It's a unidirectional flow and read only for child component. State is managed by a component on its own. It's reusable, private to the component, and modifiable. How do you re-render a flat list? By passing extra data to flat list, we make sure flat list will re-render itself when its value changes. Without setting this prop, flat list wouldn't know it needs to re-render any items. Because it's also a pure component and the prop comparison will not show any changes. How do you style a component in React Native? With React Native, you style your application using JavaScript. All of the core components accept a prop named style. The style names and values usually match how CSS works on the web, except names are written using camel casing. For example, background color rather than background dash color. You can also pass an array of styles. The last style in the array has precedence, so you can use these to inherit styles. As a component grows in complexity, it's often cleaner to use a style sheet to define several styles in one place. How is Flexbox different in React Native and Browser? Flexbox works the same way in React Native as it does in CSS on the web with a few exceptions. The defaults are different, with Flex direction defaulting to column instead of row, and the Flex parameter only supporting a single number. How to fetch data from local JSON file on React Native? You can use require like this, or you can import directly in ES6 like this, and then access data like a normal JS object. What are React hooks? Hooks are a new addition in React 16.8. They let you use a state and other React features without writing a class. With hooks, you can extract a stateful logic from a component so it can be tested independently and reused. Hooks allow you to reuse a stateful logic without changing your component hierarchy. This makes it easy to share hooks among many components or with the community. What are advantages of using React hooks? Primarily, hooks in general enable the extraction and reuse of a stateful logic that is common across multiple components without the burden of higher order components or render props. Hooks allow to easily manipulate the state of our functional component without needing to convert them into class components. Hooks don't work inside classes because they let you use React without classes. By using them, we can totally avoid using lifecycle methods such as component did mount, component did update, component will unmount. Instead, we will use built-in hooks like use effect. What is context in React? In a typical React Native application, data is passed from parent to child via props, but such usage can be cumbersome for certain types of props, for example local preference, that are required by many components within an application. Context provides a way to share values like these between components without having to explicitly passing a prop through every level of the tree. What is view and how important is it? Vue is the most fundamental component for building a UI in React Native. Vue is a container that supports layout with flexbox, style, some touch handling, and accessibility controls. Vue maps directly to the native Vue equivalent on whatever platform React Native is running on, whether that is a UI view, div tag, Android.view, etc. Vue is designed to be nested inside other views and can have zero to many children of any type. What is the use of a scroll view component? The scroll view is a generic scrolling container that can contain multiple components and views. 
the scroll level items need not be homogeneous and you can scroll both vertically and horizontally by setting a horizontal property. Scroll view renders all its React child components at once, but this has a performance downside. Well, I hope you have a successful interview. In addition, you can use the React Native tutorial series on the channel to improve your technical skills. In the next part, we will review the higher levels together.